Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeview Transit Authority. Today we have a special treat for you. We are going to show you a little bit of the history regarding LTA along with a journey back, a blast to the past basically, regarding our history in the past and our division, our flagship division, New Lakeview. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first stop is Old Lakeview. This was our very first division, completely fictional, but if you look closely, you may see some very similarities to New Lakeview, including some of the placements of the depot, for example, being at the very northwest side of the map, along with how some of these roads curve, like for example, this road here, and this road with trees on the, in the middle of it, which is supposed to represent Lakeview Boulevard. Here's a little history on LTA that you may have not that you may not have known about us. Lakeview Transit Authority was founded on October 11, 2020. Construction on our very first division, Old Lakeview, which is this one, which used to be called the Lakeview Division, began almost immediately. Our very first fleet consisted of modified RTS buses, which are considered very early, and some very early JRBM buses. Those RTSs were actually modified by JRBM. So essentially we have very early JRBM buses in this game. And a mix of wave buses, which were added later on. You may have seen these um, newer LTA buses. These, are, these were strictly here added for special events. But as you, as, we sh as you zoom across the map, you may see some similarities. This is our transit center, which was originally called Lakeview Transit Center. But around 2021, into the new Lakeview era, a lot of people started referring to it as city center, so we changed the name and it stuck. We have this area of just cleared land, which does not exist anymore. Here's where Aldo is now. <laughs> This is Wayside Mall, which has which was relocated here to where Townsend Center is, and is now Lakeview Mall. A hospital, which does not exist in New Lakeview. We have City Hall, which is a very small city hall, if you ask me. In fact, if you look closely, it's literally the exact same building used for the museum. We have the zoo, which for the most part is in the same location area although roads have been redone. Then we have our airport, which indeed has received, or is receiving a major facelift in New Lake, to much larger. And that is all for Old Lake. Our next stop will be, oh yeah, I almost forgot the park, which does not exist. Although it was meant to be added into New Lake. There are a total of a handful of routes I can't name them all, but some of them are the 17, 36, 44, 87, C1, C2, and C4. Some of these routes later became other routes in New Lakeview. For example, the C1 became the 101, the C2 became the 54 and 54X, and the C4 became, or will become, a new route I am working on. Hush hush. The 44, which is now considered technically part of the 59, 36, also considered part of 59. And then we have, of course, C4, which can also be considered part of the 33 now. C3 was a former route in this game and was, was, and was eliminated shortly before New Lake View opened. It can now be considered the 45. Up next, we will head over to New Lakeview version 1.0, the, the, the very first version released. Welcome to New Lakeview version 1.0. This was the very first version of New Lakeview released on that very faithful day, March 15th, 2021. Here you can see more of a 
more of a similarity to modern day New Lakeview. We can see the Devo placement, which of course has been renovated over the years. It was renovated not too long after this after this map opened. This is actually the original Devo from Old Lakeview, but slightly reskinned. These were the original buses that we operated. They were modified wave buses alongside these JBI buses, although these came later. Here is just a regular bus stop sign. This would eventually become 33 and what is now 59. Rosedale at the time did not exist. These apartments, which were removed not too long ago actually. Here's where Lakeview High School is now. Here's where Cherry Avenue Park and Ride is now. Here's how Lakeview Mall used to look like for those that haven't been with us for very long. Cost Mart did not exist. Downtown was completely non-existent. And all of the buildings are just brick blocks. Some of these some of these buildings around the maps are still brick blocks, but most of them have been replaced with proper businesses, etc. etc. We also have, of course, our only route, the 101, which is suspended at the moment, but we hope to bring it back soon. Then we have these beautiful palm trees. Some remnants of these old palm trees still remain on some eastern portions of Lakeview Boulevard that had yet to be torn down to make room for our busway for the 101, but eventually all of these trees will be eliminated and replaced for our busway. So enjoy them while you can. And of course we have our power lines. These didn't last long. They were quickly removed because they were too laggy. Oh yeah, here's a new section that we've been using. As you can see, if you might have noticed that these traffic lights are exactly the same from the ones from Old Lakeview, that you are correct. They are Old Lakeview era traffic lights. They were removed and replaced with 22 pilots because they were deemed extremely inefficient. Here's where loading is now. And of course, the freeway, which has received some major facelifts. Here's where Sunshine High School is, Sunshine Avenue, and then of course, the old airport, which was recently torn down and is scheduled to be replaced. Now, our final stop on the journey. Oh yeah, before I should mention, of course, there's McDowell Avenue, which has received much major all right, now our next stop will be, oh, and then of course the old city center. This city center has actually been rebuilt multiple times. The first time it was actually meant to be a station you had to reverse out of with multiple bays. Kind of like, kind of like a coach bus terminal, if you get what I'm saying. That one was removed about shortly not too long into development because it was just deemed too complicated so we scaled it down and we turned it into this and it has received some facelifts in 2021 it received another facelift more modern and sleek with glass of course some repainting some repolishing but overall most of the same trend center until very recently in early 2023, late 2022, early 2023, the city center was completely rebuilt from the ground up, which you guys will see in a second. For those that aren't familiar with that game. All right, now our next stop is modern day New Lakeview, and our final stop is everyone's favorite New Lakeview division. It opened on March 15th. That's today, 2021, which means that New Lakeview is officially two years old. It has been expanded and improved over the years, but for the most part, it has stayed true to its original roots. The original roots were, of course, to recreate old Lakeview, but in a much larger map with more ambitions. We have here, of course, Rosedale, which at the time of opening did not exist. We have our beautiful, massive depot, which has recently been expanded to house our 35-foot buses, specifically for our community routes, Route 7, which is a new route, and Route 8.
And here's Cherry Avenue Park and Ride, which at the time, again, did not exist at the time of opening. We only had Route 101. Here's Lakeview Mall, which did exist, but has been, of course, improved over the years. And of course, City Center, which has been recently got a huge remodel and a rebuild to make a much larger terminal. And then we have, of course, the airport zone, which at the, at the time of recording, it is currently under renovations. Here's how the airport looks like now during renovations. Eventually, it'll be much more bigger and better. But right now, it's under renovations. And with all that being said, thank you for tuning into this video, and we will see you next time. Happy birthday, New Lakeview!